so there are some mistakes which generally people do while creating the seedlings so the first mistake a lot of people do is they take a smaller trays so avoid doing smaller trays if you are doing commercial production avoid doing smaller trays take a big trays no root formation for the plants is a very much crucial in the seedling phase so always make sure that you are using a bigger trays avoid a smaller trays second thing a lot of people do is they don't press seed deep inside always make sure your seeds are at least 1 cm deep inside your coco peat that's a mistake you should avoid at all cost third mistake a lot of people do is people don't use bottom holes you know, there there are two types of trees available in the market there are trees with a bottom holes and there are trees without the bottom hole so always you have to use a trees which have a bottom holes whenever there is a excess water the excess water should run out if the lot of excess water is there a lot of root rotting will start happening into the seedling phase seeds will not germinate properly the seedlings will not grow properly so always make sure there is a bottom holes to the trees the fourth important part is never 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 use dry coco peat always use moist coco peat when you are filling up the tray always make sure your coco peat is a moist enough that you now the root zone what the plants or seedlings root zone is always moist you have to make you have to make sure of that so never use dry coco peat at any phase even if you are filling the trays or even if you are watering the trays at, at any stage never 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 coco peat dry never let coco peat dry so the fifth important tray is improper way of uh, piling up the tray lot of every time you have to pile up a tray on top of each other that each pocket comes on top of another pocket so that's the only proper way of a uh, piling up a tray so even if you are watering tray from the top on the day one so the all water passes to the next and keeps on passing to the next layer layer of the trays so always pile up tray very much properly sixth important point, point is giving high nutrients to the seedlings so whenever we spread after the third day when we were spread this trays on the no, mild sunlight area you should not immediately start giving them a high nutrient dose you cannot start giving them like 20 grams or 30 grams or 50 grams or 1 kg of you no know, nutrient solutions to each tray we cannot do that that's not that's not required the plants will start burning the seedlings will start burning because directly you are putting chemicals synthetic chemicals on them they are not yet capable or you no know, coped up with the synthetic chemicals so start never never give high nutrient solutions to the seedling lot of people have this confusion that if i'm giving them more fertilizer they'll grow very rapidly it doesn't work that way seedlings doesn't work that way They, they 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 keep on growing at their own pace on on their own speed. They just need nutrients to help that sub no help that support. They just need support to do the different different operations in their growth phase. Sometimes they have to de develop their stemata. Sometimes they have to repeat it. Oh no, re uh, no increase their photosynthesis speed. Sometimes they need to gain the stem st uh, strength. They need different different for different different mechanism. They need uh, nutrients. the growth needs a nutrients it's not nutrients which boost growth it doesn't work that way to growth boost there is a different kind of a growth booster the nutrients or fertilizers doesn't work in that manner so uh, always avoid giving high nutrient solutions to the plants when they are into the seedling phase the seventh biggest issue what people do is we put lot of seeds into the single pocket so always make sure there is only single seed into the single pocket when seed is growing into the seedling phase the root will start growing in all direction it will start fighting for the nutrient solution it will start fighting for the again it's a life form so in life form always try to find lot of things which is possible so when we have multiple seeds in the pocket the, the seeds start fighting with each other for the similar amount of nutrient solutions which we had so avoid doing multiple seed no seed uh, sowing into the single pocket or is make sure that you are sowing only single seed into the single pocket now the next phase what we talk about the nutrients for the seedlings 